today. Um, we couldn't hear what they were saying on stage. Billy Joe seemed to be saying something. Canelo's just fair shaking his head. Do you think Canelo's looking at Billy Joe now and he's there thinking, I can't wait to punish you for everything that's gone on this week? Um, yeah, I can see that. Well, that's probably bad news for Canelo because it's going to make him load up a little bit and maybe make a few mistakes. Because it's got to be Billy Joe Saunders' plan, his, his game plan, his tactics to to try and annoy um, Canelo and try and get him to fight outside his normal game plan, try and make him make a few mistakes and get him to force his game and load up a little bit, a little bit when I did against Groves in the first fight. You know, boxing doesn't work as well when when you're fighting on emotion. And Canelo definitely seems a little bit emotional. You know, that anger, the emotion anger, it's not good for boxing. Carl, after we saw a lot of... Wow. Those are the words of Carl the Cobra Frotch as he states that Canelo Alvarez seems emotional. And to counterpunch Carl, he's absolutely correct. Canelo Alvarez does seem a bit emotional. Not a lot, but a bit. We've seen him matter. We've seen him in there with Danny Jacobs, you know, when they headbutted each other, when they went head to head and things like that. And, you know, and I think honestly that was really for Danny to piss Danny off because it was a pretty smooth selling conference. So I think that that was Canelo's way of trying to get to him, right? You know, just showing him his dominance or whatever. Uh, however, um, the Golovkin buildup, the, the second fight, you know, he was angry at Abel Sanchez, right? And then, you know, he, I think that anger brought something out at him special. So I don't necessarily know if being him being angry will really affect him. Okay, um, uh, we have uh, this fight, and he was shaking his head, and Billy Joe was telling them some things, and I think he was shaking his head at this point because he didn't, he no longer wanted to engage in any type of conversation or argument with Billy Joe because Billy Joe, if we can see him the first time they saw each other, Billy Joe, like a couple days ago, Billy Joe, I think, um, pissed him off. Because see, Billy Joe knows how to do certain things, and he's Billy Joe is very, very uh, sarcastic, and he has this dark humor, and he will bring things up, and he doesn't care. Beef, beef. You like that beef, eh? You like that beef, <laughs> right? Oh, you like that Mexican beef? And see, and Canelo, and you could tell Canelo's whole demeanor changed. He went from stone faced to trying to like explain to trying to argue. To the point he was just, you're going to get it now, my friend. You're in trouble now, right? So, yeah, I mean, we'll see how that happens. But, yeah, he does. He is emotional. And I think he decided, like, okay, don't even say nothing to Billy Joe. Billy Joe's a, a, a fucking idiot, and he will make you pissed off. You don't want to argue with idiots. Trust me, it doesn't work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially if you're trying to sensibly make sense or talk sense. No, I don't work. You know, you have to have patience for that. You know what I mean? And, you know, and then I think Canelo, he just shook his head like, no, no, no. You know, because he didn't really want to engage in any, any type of, com you know, conversation with Billy because he already lost the first round of trying to do that. So he said, you know what? I'm not going to do anything at all. But I mean, how many people have he, you heard Canelo saw, you're in trouble now. You know who he sounds like? He sounds exactly like Vasil Lomachenko when Teofimo Lopez was doing what he was doing. You guys remember that? You guys remember Loma and, and, and Teo? Right? When those guys, you know, he's, I'm going to punish him for everything he said, right? That's what it sounds like. You're in trouble now. <laughs> so, um, I think it's one of these situations where uh, Canelo Alvarez did get a little emotional. And we know Carl Frotch doesn't care about anybody just being themselves. You know what I mean? Like Anthony called Lennox Lewis a clown. You know, he was, that's very unprofessional. Well, I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's only so much you can take. So, um, but Carl Frotch is right, but we will see if that will be a factor in the fight. It'll probably make it more dramatic, if anything. You know, so I can't wait. Of course, you know, I'm going live on it. You guys tell me what you think of uh, Canelo Alvarez, according to Carl Froch. Is 
he a bit emotional. You guys tell me, leave your comments below. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.